I know you don't, you don't have to say it. I know I look like a crazy person. <laughs> My beautiful dudes um you may be wondering why my hair <laughs> looks like this well let me tell you um i'm gonna try and attempt a bleach bath because i don't want to full-on bleach my hair but i just want to lift my color out just a tidbit just just a little bit because i'm gonna be adding color different colors throughout the bottom of my hair and <laughs> So I have it sectioned all crazy and wild before I make my concoction. Um, and I thought, you know what? This would be perfect uh, to bring y'all along. So let's get it, let's get it going, let's, let's go. I'm not gonna be applying it to my roots, only to my midsections and down to my tips. I'm not gonna touch my roots. My roots are fine. So let's get going. Okay, we are putting together my mixture. This is what I'm doing, so. Okay, so I am going to be using two solid scoops of this bleach right here. Okay, typically you're only supposed to use like 10 or 20 at the max. I really want to get up to a 20 because I want a little bit more of a lift. So I'm going to dilute my 30 with 10 to bring it down to 20. I don't know if that's a thing, but I'm just going to go with it and we'll go from there. So, yeah. I did two scoops of my bleach because I got a lot of flipping hair. So, typically it's a one to two ratio. So, then that means I'm going to do two scoops of 30 and two scoops of 10. But I'm going to be like mixing the developer together first in here and then putting it in there. <laughs> okay, I'm going to mix up this developer. I, can, I don't know if this is just an extra step or if it like really matters, but I went ahead and did it anyways. Okay, then I'm gonna add some Violet Crush. I really don't know how much purple shampoo I should use. I'm trying to use this to try to tone it as I bleach. I don't know if that, again, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, you guys, this is what my mixture looks like, and now let's go apply it. Okay, hopefully you guys can see, I added this mirror here so you can kind of see what I'm doing in the back. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so. Like I said, I'm just going to be, I'm just going to be bleaching from here down and I got to go fast. So, because apparently this process is fast and this is the first time I've tried this. So let's just get to it. You, there's no turning back. There's no, there's no turning back. Oh, my Landa, look at that purple. It's kind of cool though. I'm not going to lie. I guess worst case scenario. I'll just dye my hair purple. I don't even know, cause I like purple. Okay, little did I know it was this moment right here where I totally jinxed myself. All right, so I went ahead and I just jumped in and already screwed up because I touched my roots like I said I wasn't going to do, but I pushed on. Now I worked from back to front and then I decided it was a wonderful idea to go ahead and get my top half too that I swore I wasn't going to touch because I wanted to get rid of that stubborn yellow. Look how precise I am making sure it's saturated with bleach. Check this out, ah, an accidental trick shot. I can't believe I caught that. <laughs> All right, let's just cut to the chase here. We get it, you put bleach in your hair. I wanna see what happens next. Hurry up. Well, you guys, there you have it. Who are you talking to? Our beautiful dudes. What's up, my beautiful dudes? <laughs> Got it, had it. <laughs> All right, you guys, as you, as you can see, I'm bagged up. I'm going to let it sit on my head for you maybe... You need to go potty. I'm going to let it sit in my head for maybe like... Just sit it for long, like 10 minutes. You think 10 minutes? Yeah. We're going to do 15. we go from there. Okay, I'll see you in 15. Okay, bye. Okay, update. So... <laughs> um, I washed it out and again, it lifted so well. But it lifted so well, um, 
and it, it was back to like a yellow so I had to tone anyway so the purple shampoo didn't do anything so future reference I would use like dandruff shampoo or something but um, I'm toning it now with this stuff um, I haven't tried this before it's like lavender moon so it's like a light purple so well see that's what's in my hair right now um, I'll let this process for about 20 minutes and then I'll let you know what the final look looks like. I don't think this one's going to turn as well as I wanted it to be, but whatever, whatever, whatever. We can fix it. We can fix it. I mean, right? Can we fix it? All right. I'll be back in a few. See how this turns out. Okay. I'll see you soon. All right, you guys. Well, this is what it looks like. It did really well. It did exactly what I wanted it to do. It lifted it. I wanted it to be light enough to put color over it. Um, <laughs> and I'm super blonde up here. I am going to be, there's still that hint of yellow. The And this is where I royally ducked up. I should have gone with the T18 instead of this. And with uh, Wella 050 and see what happens. I mean, worst case scenario, I'll have like blue silver hair. Like... Oh darn. <laughs> so, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I've never used this toner before. I'm getting outside of my box because I, this is stubborn. And I want it to be a beautiful platinum blonde on top. You just wait and see, girl. You are not going to have platinum blonde hair. I'm just saying. I'll do this and then show you the end result. Hopefully you good. I don't know. We'll find out. Okay, bye. Uh, <laughs> I have learned my lesson. Yes, I did. We are never using that toner again. Oh my gosh. Now, now what? Now, now I am not walking around with this. I do not look good blue. <laughs> All right. Let me brainstorm and we'll figure it out. I don't even know what to do. I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I got my dyeing shirt on that I just washed from earlier today. Um, I have my hair separated and sectioned and ready to go. This is what I've decided, okay? I am going to have Arctic Fox uh, Ritual and Wrath mixed together on top, blended down to the bottom to Arctic Rush's Purple Rain. So I'm going to get going on that and show you a little bit of it. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but I might not be able to record and do this at the same time because this is going to take a lot of focus because I'm going to be doing a lot of blending. So I guess it's just going to be a surprise because um, I cannot stand the blue. I don't like the blue. <laughs> Serves me right. Well, but I learned. I learned. Lesson learned. I learned and now I'm going to try to fix it. This is the first time I went full on color my whole entire head so I'm probably still not going to like it. But we'll see. Maybe it'll be amazing. I don't know. Let's 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 just see what happens. Okay. Come on. I'll be back. Okay. Okay you guys. So <laughs> top part is that maroon color. I don't know what's gonna happen because it was a blue. I don't know if it's gonna just turn, I don't know. I don't know what to expect, but it's dyed, it's sitting. I'm gonna let it sit here for like 30 minutes. The bottom part is purple. <laughs> and um, I'll see you guys in the morning with makeup on my face and it all bl blow dried out and stuff because that's just what we do when we dye our hair and we don't really like it, right? Um, we just put a bunch of makeup on and it, it takes the uglies away. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to love it. I'm going to love it. It's going to look great. It's going to be beautiful. Okay, we'll see. I'll see you, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Mommy, I need a big bubble. You guys. Uh, I am so in love with this look. I can't. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's. It turned out so pretty. Uh, so here's the final look. And I am in love. Like, this was the best mistake of my entire life. Like, I would have never, I would have never gone to this color, let alone do a f my full head colored ever, if it weren't for that 
blue oopsies. So I'm thankful I learned a lesson and I got outside of my comfort zone. And let me just tell you, <laughs> okay. Feeling like a, a sexy Disney princess now. Anyway, okay, well, thank you guys so much for joining me on this crazy wild adventure. I did not expect it to end this way. I was hoping for more lighter, <laughs> but I'm okay with this. So thank you guys so much for joining me and hanging out with me and joining me on this crazy roller coaster. It was a blast. It was fun. Until the next adventure, I'm just going to take a bunch of pictures now. And Okay, that's all. I don't know how to end these things like always. Um, so, okay, goodbye.